Well, we have a special report for you tonight. Nearly 400 out of 100,000 black adults become entrepreneurs, according to the U.S. Census Bureau. And only one out of 10 of those businesses will actually survive. One local business, however, forced their way to success, even with the odds stacked against them. And tonight, our Fox 44's Jessica Knox brings us that story. They just didn't believe in us. A lot of people told us that we couldn't open the store. They told us it wasn't a good idea. Caleb Cayette, Leonard Fields, and D. Eric Robinson grew up together in Donaldsonville. Their parents are hardworking middle class people who made sure they had everything they needed. They only had two pairs of shoes, had to you know, rotate uh, every, every two days. I wear the same two pairs of shoes. Food wise, clothes wise, we didn't really struggle with that. And uh, basically, my wants. They say blood couldn't make them closer. They are like brothers. 8 through 12, we went to every school, every grade we were in. And, uh, some grades, we were all in the same class, some grades we weren't. But uh, after school, we played sports together. So uh, just, you know, hanging out, building that relationship. Shoes were their first love. Air Jordan 3, uh, powder blues. I bought those for my first McDonald's check. It was amazing. It was my first pair, so I was proud. The three enrolled at Louisiana State University and wanted to turn their love for shoes into a lawful business. College dormitory, uh, we started selling out of our cars and trunks. We would go to the local malls and pick up shoes that we thought we could sell for profit. The trio's business skyrocketed after learning how to market on their social media. For our following base, a lot. About roughly like three or four, three, four thousand. Yeah, three or four thousand. Then it was time to open a store, something they say wasn't an easy task. We faced a lot of trouble trying to get this building in Baton Rouge. Uh, I was it because of the color of our skin. Banks and um, other private investors, they're a little bit more hesitant to giving out a business loan to, like you said, someone who's young and someone a black male. They say, oh, he's not experienced, he's fresh out of college, he's 21, <laughs> he's immature. Uh, who's going on mess up. Having no one to ask for advice and no background on how to do it, they figured it out on their own. Like we all funded this with our own money out of pocket because we couldn't get a business loan. After rebranding themselves and saving all they had, another sole chance was born. It was so amazing, not because it was our first store, I'm gonna say it like that. I say it was so amazing because of the trials and tribulations we went through to get to the store. Like I said, it was a four to five month process. So we finally got the keys. We finally got in here. Me was like, man, wow, we finally got in here. It's crazy. Because the first year of and all the support we had, just did. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, we were. That was was support. They say it's more than just shoes. A lot to do with school. We have to wear a school uniform. So, exactly. Yeah. So that's the only thing that you can stand out with is your shoes. Yeah, that was the only way to express yourself in school. But the shoes give people a sense of pride. They were learning as they go in the beginning and the end. They were robbed after facing so many obstacles, having little to no help at all, surviving the pandemic, and now being robbed, the three found themselves stuck. We had, to, we had to step it up. They were forced to press the reset button and start all over again. But another sole chance came back bigger and stronger. Keep going. Don't let anyone tell you what you can or can't do. Exactly. Everything is possible. <clears throat> We were, we were 22 when we need the rest. Many say starting a business is a hard task, but being black and young makes it harder. These black business owners say their best advice, research and network, but also. Uh, education, get a job, build a Yeah, save your money for like uh, five to six months at least before you start a business. So where it doesn't work out, you have the extra money to fall back on. And to help those kids switching between two pairs of shoes, another sole chance is there. You need some extra money, you need quick cash, you need money fast, you need probably some gas money. And um, we all we will buy these shoes so for a good price and give them the money. They go out there and buy what they need and pay their bills, stuff like that. Jessica Knox, Fox 44 News. What an inspiration.